it's over. We did it. Woohoo! <laughs>trying to stretch my hamstring right in freak accident i kicked my hand so hard that i broke two nails and a bloody mess but next thing i know it's time to start we have left the starting line Ooh. well y'all that's mile one Ooh. first water stop can't see it lots of people first water stop Cherry Blossom. I take the Rock Creek Park now. Put on me to our left. Watergate to our right. We're running into Rock Creek Park. Almost at four miles. Wow, this is going kind of fast. There's the sign. Once you get past three, it's like six. Once you get past six, it's 13. Despite the little math mentality I just told you, we were not halfway anywhere. We were on mile four and now at mile five. Mile six. Mile seven. Now we have this humongous hill to go up. Now we're passing Embassy Tattoo, where I get all my piercings. My vices are running into one another, obviously. Okay, we're at Adam, out of Adams Morgan, going into Columbia Heights. That hill is crazy, but my cousin came and cheered me on. Oh, dude, my cousin is here. <laughs> so that's the fun part about running in your city. That is the mile nine marker right up there. My watch is dead. I gotta take this apple, sorry. He was dying in the middle of my runs. But I think it's gonna be for the best because I will not be anxious about my analytics. I just have to do these last four miles at my own speed. Mile nine. And here's the street that I got stuck on when I got in my first car accident. Just a little Lauren Brown history. The fun of running in your city. Good memories. I was like, I know the street, and it was a thin tree. 
<laughs> and my car was totaled. Rest in peace, Inica. Passing through. A pleasant surprise. There must be a soccer game right now. I did not know I'd be running through the campus. Fun memories. And here's a building where I probably should have went and got math tutoring. <laughs> Hashtag too late. I made it out. Seized the degrees. Moving on. I walked up this hill every day for like three years, but now it looks higher. <laughs> I used to live right there in that building for a whole year. College Hall South. 3.1 more miles to go. Here's a 5k. Mile 11. Call me in PC. Mile 12. We're on 6th Street, which means that we're close to finishing. Mile 13. Well guys, I never got my picture, so I didn't get a picture going across the finish line, but big ups to my uncles for the pictures that are in this video. We are done. Now we're going to Ted's Bulletins to have the Ted's Bulletin, singular Ted's Bulletin to have the Breakfast of Champions follow our tradition of having Ted's after races. And then when we get home, we will debrief because I need to look at my pictures if and when they post them. No, just when they post them. And also figure out my time. So. I will talk to y'all later. I'm going to be good tomorrow. By the way, yes, we finished up the Capitol and walked all the way up Capitol Hill, which is steep, after this half marathon. And now we're going to Ted's. But you cannot say that we didn't do our two 45 minute workouts for 75 hard today, okay? We did them in the end song. It is time to debrief. I currently have on my shirt because I'm super pressed. I had a great time. Roll Tide. Anyways. <laughs> All right, let's rate out of, out of 10 total. Seven. Okay, out of 10 total, I have a 10. Let's talk about the course. Zero. <laughs> Zero course. out of 10 for the course. <laughs> Okay, tell them why. Let's let's talk about the okay. course because I don't think they could really see. I tried to show them how high the hill was that we had to run, but I don't think you could really see. So let us talk about okay, it. Okay, so here's here's the backstory. I do not like running hills, especially on a half marathon. 5K, 10K. I don't yes. want to run a hill on a on a 5K. I, 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 run, think a, that's I run a hill if it's a short distance. But you're already running 13.1 miles. Why do you need such a big hill you don't you really don't so that was my gripe the hill was just so steep at mile seven and a half it just snatched my soul so after that i was just over it. i was done so that's why i gave the course a zero because dc has some really nice running spots and i thought they picked the worst one <laughs> um i did not mind the hills i don't mind hills because i mean you got to get up it right I don't mind hills. I didn't mind it. I felt like I liked it because it cut up the run. Like I was just running, 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 just vibing. And then I was like, oh God, like I gotta tap in. I gotta tap in and focus and do this hill. And then after that, it's like, oh, okay, now I'm running again. Um, I love the course. We ran through the city. I liked where we ran. It wasn't too far from, like the start and finish wasn't too far. Like, they didn't have us running in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Um, I do feel like if they're gonna have the big hill, they didn't even have little hills too. That yeah, it was a lot, it was a lot of hills. But I didn't necessarily mind it. Um, I love the race. It was more serious. Like we said, we said in the Vegas vlog that DC was gonna be more serious, and it was more serious. Um, not a lot of lax of days go walking. I still beat 200 people though. Go Lauren. So yeah, I shaved 16 minutes and off you my beat time. Yourself. Yeah, I shaved 16 minutes off my last time. How much did you shave off of your last time? 20. Saved 20 minutes off her last time. Um, but there were still people like walking and going their own speeds. Um, few, just few. Not like Vegas. Vegas had oh, hundreds. Yeah. yeah. 
DC had like 200. No, maybe 15. <laughs> Who was just seriously walking. Oh, the whole entire way. Yeah, yeah, the whole entire way. Right. Yeah, you had some people who started walking, finished walking. Vegas had way more people who started walking, finished walking. DC, no. Mm -mm. I think I only saw one tutu. Um, mm -hmm. As far as we're just talking about the vibe now. I only saw one tutu. Everybody was really serious. Um, I appreciated that. This time I ran with no earphones for the first time. I ran a whole race with no earphones. I loved it. I loved it. It was way easier to focus. It was way easier. I wasn't so stressed about my watch and my time and stuff. Speaking of, my watch died at mile eight. But home court advantage was also really fun because my uncles came out, took pictures of us. My cousin came to give my mom a banana because my mom was struggling and she needed a banana. And look, you could just call somebody to bring you a banana. So, oh yeah, let's get to fueling real quick while we're talking about that. Sushi wins again. Sushi before the race? That is my pre-race Magic. Which you, you didn't eat at the first race, did you? I, again, I do not feel... <laughs> you said again. Just, Third vlog in the road. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, in We're a, gonna do better. I'm in a zone now where fueling is just... It's it's over. I'm over fueling because I'm, my body is just used to doing it, what it does. But this particular time, after I ran up that stupid hill, I was just done. So, cousin Aisha, <laughs> she was waiting by the Safeway. We were texting each other and I said, hey banana please and she came out she had a big ripe sweet banana at mile eight and i ate that thing and it gave me the rest of what i needed to finish without dying so i'm gonna i'm not gonna say i'm gonna work on the fueling because i'm not i'm <laughs> gonna <laughs> pray for I'm, just, I'm gonna work on the fueling for the marathon mm -hmm. that i i know because i run a couple of marathons before and i know if you don't feel properly you can't you play will, around with you that will one. die half marathon you die yeah, half marathon yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Y'all just pray for her. <laughs> um, I they did have chews. I gotta stand up. My back. There we go. They did have chews at this race, but we did not eat them. They had chews and Gatorade gels. We didn't eat them because last time my mom things made our stomach hurt. But I did have gushers this time, just as a like a little mental treat, and also for some sugar. I had two packs of gushers at like mile eight and twelve. That was smart. I'm gonna get her on the gusher wave. Yeah, I like Gushers. Uh, I think <laughs> I do. But um, like I say, the half marriage, anything below. She said she's not going to feel, so y'all just pray for her. I, I'm not going to feel. I'll drink the little Gatorade. We're going to fill her up with prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Hope and faith. Prayer works. Amen. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think this might have been my favorite race to date. It wasn't a bad race. The after um, pictures, the cherry blossoms, the vibe. You had the pictures of me? No, Uncle Lawrence and, and Chase pictures. Oh, okay. Um, I might, I might. Put, pictures, yeah, they didn't nice. have a lot of photographers. They no, did not have a lot of photographers. Like Once again, four. they had yeah, they had no, they had about six. They had two at the beginning, three on the bridge at like mile two, and then no more photographers till the end. Yeah. Once again, so we have pictures. Luckily, because our family came out, I might get my running across the finish line picture, but we'll see. As we predicted, it was structured much better. We much got better. the starting line. Boom, boom, boom. Corral, the corrals, corral, yeah, the corrals corral. were so easy to run through. Basically, oh. we just in one big herd, oh. and they broke us up. They said, yeah, they put it by number, so nine, one through eight. nine, and then, you know, they you took the people up. in the front, we moved up. Took you people in the up. front, moved up. So much more efficient. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was not like Vegas with the herd not at all. At all. Uh, I will say the convention part and picking up the bibs and the things like that had more vendors, and it was better in Vegas. But I feel like that's because it's Vegas. Like, they had a DJ. The lights were off. Like, it was just party Vegas. D.C., it was a very very much a convention center vibe. They had, you know, events D.C. workers. they like, what's your bib number? All right. That's it. Get out. Like, yeah, it was, it was much more serious. one shoe vendor. It was very... Yeah, but I don't really go for the convention, so I don't really care. But since we talked about it last time, I thought it was pretty valuable to compare to this time. But I had way more fun this time. Um, I, I thought I didn't like running the morning, but I like this. I don't know. I think that taking the music on my ears really made a big difference. But that was that was cool. We had the cherry blossom in two weeks. This is crazy. It's just some miles. It's just, only just some ten, only ten. Only ten. Which honestly, that makes a big difference. Them last that last five k, the girls beside me kept saying just five k left, just a five k left. That last three point one is crazy. We got ten miles in us every day of the week. Every yeah. day we got ten. I can miles do ten miles. 
The 13 gets a little tricky. tricky. You, you got it, but you got to pull it out. You mm -hmm. got it, but you got to pull it out. So we have the cherry blossom in two weeks, and then I have a 5K at the end of April. What's my friend's I'm going to disappear until August. I'm going to just train, 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 because our big goal is the marathon in the I'm fall. still not in the mind set for you that, but I need there. to get there. You get there. It's just crazy. I feel um, like I have a year to train, but I do not. How does your body feel? I'm feeling good. Does it feel like... I feel like I got hit by a truck yesterday. We covered quicker from Vegas or no? I can't compare it to Vegas because we had to hop on a plane. That's true. And then the time and the difference and all that stuff. So I can't really compare it to Vegas. I think Vegas, but, we had to um, like recruit and keep going. Walk through the airport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this was fun. Third race vlog. The medals vlog. are cool too. The medals are cool. I'll put a picture in. Um, I may do a cherry blossom vlog. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta like, do it because it's, it's, that's, the, that's the best course. And it's 10 miles. So you, you gotta do that. Yeah. I feel like that's I'm a DC race. I'm a, I'm a race vlog person, I guess, now. So if you're enjoying these, then. Yeah, you gotta do the DC only race. Um, I have a half marathon vlog, which is my first one that I ever ran, and then I have a Vegas half marathon vlog, and this is my third. I also have a running and training playlist. If you want to know how I became a runner and all of those type of videos, it'll pop up on the screen. Anything else you want to say, Mom? Uh, I'm enjoying running with Lauren. She's a great running partner. Um, she's learning all the nuances of running and so uh, many nuances. Having fun. That's that's the key. Having mm -hmm. fun, taking care. I think of it's mom. the first race that I genuinely had fun. I just be trying, I'd be trying to survive, y'all. <laughs> I'd be trying to get to the end. But this one, I was like, I'm actually enjoying myself. She's, she's become my running bestie, and yeah. I'm enjoying it. Have After fun. years and years of asking. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go my own way. You hear me? But yeah, no, I didn't even wear sunglasses. Mm, I had to wear sunglasses. I didn't wear sunglasses. I think it was just the sun hitting my face, and I was like, I didn't take no my music. Off. Yeah, I didn't take my jacket I, off. I had a long sleeve, a shirt, and my jacket. I didn't take my jacket off. I did use my ear pods, but I didn't put them in until like mile four. So I was just vibing too until I came to the hill. <laughs> I had on my Army 10 miler long sleeve and an old Navy hoodie. I was fine. New running shoes coming. We were supposed to get new running shoes before this race, but they, they didn't mail in time. So Cherry Blossoms, I have new running shoes and all the sorts. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This video a like. Subscribe to see more videos like this and other videos. I think at the same time, we're gonna have a cherry blossom eye makeup tutorial at the same time. So go check that out. And <laughs> he's getting excited about that. And yeah, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.